Hi, it's Nicola Taggart, and I help business owners and leaders learn how to calm the chaos so that they can increase their presence, their productivity, and ultimately, their profits. And today, I want to share with you a quick goal-setting tool that you can use that will help you break down a big goal into smaller steps that are gonna feel like wins and keep the momentum going. Because what will happen if you create a really big goal is that over time, you will start to lose steam because it's gonna feel really far off and really distant and hard to get to the end. So today I'm going to use a very simple example because it's, it's easy to identify with. Now I am not suggesting that your goal should be to lose weight because I know for a lot of people, the, they're trying to get away from their weight being about a specific number and more about how they feel. But again, I'm just using this as an example today so that you can see how you would break this down. So what you're gonna do is you are going to take a specific goal that you have in mind. So for this, we say the goal is to lose 20 pounds. So maybe your goal is to buy a new car, or maybe your goal is to make $50,000 more in your business this year, or maybe your goal is to launch a new website. You're gonna select a goal that you wanna work on, and you put that at the top. Be really clear about what it is. And then I want you to create a timeline. So it's just a simple line, horizontal line across the page, and you're gonna put on this side the now. Where are you now for this goal? What is your current reality? So for this, I say, I'm X weight. Then you're gonna head over to this other end and you're gonna put your goal, your then. So when you reach the goal, what will you have reached? How are you going to know that that goal is complete? So if you're buying a car, you're gonna know because you're driving off a new car, right? If you're building a new website, you're gonna know, know you've completed the goal because you have the new website. So this is your basic timeline that you're gonna create, and you can do this for any goal that you have. And then what I want you to do is I want you to just think about what is the next milestone on this bigger goal that you wanna shoot for, the next step that's gonna feel good to achieve and is gonna get you closer to the goal that you have. So again, as an easy example, your first milestone may be losing five pounds. It's not 20, but it's getting you going in the right direction. So your first milestone that you're gonna list is lose 20 pounds. And if you want to put a, t a timeline to it, then maybe you say within two weeks. And then the question I want you to ask yourself is between each milestone point, so between the now and the first milestone, what do you need to do to reach that first milestone? What actions do you need to take? What conversations do you need to have? So let's go back to this example. So for your first milestone to lose five pounds, if you think about what actions would you need to take to reach that, five, that first milestone? So it would, could be planning my meals, prepping my meals, grocery shopping for my meals. In terms of conversations, it could be telling my family members what I am trying to do and asking them for support. It could be enlisting accountability buddy. It could even be um, what, what, how many times you're gonna exercise that week. So you're just gonna focus on what you need to do between now and the next milestone. So two weeks, go by, you get a check-in, did I meet my first milestone of losing five pounds by sticking to my actions and my conversations? Yes, yay, you celebrate hitting that milestone, and then you ask yourself, what's the next milestone? And you create the second milestone. So let's say it's to lose five more pounds. So you're gonna create your next milestone, you go through the same process of what do I need to do, what actions do I need to take, what conversations do I need to have, give yourself a deadline, you check back in, did you meet that milestone, yay, you celebrate, maybe you don't, so you need to readjust to go back, 
So this is a way to break down a much bigger goal that you have into manageable chunks so that you can move along the milestones, build momentum, and before you know it, you will be celebrating your goal. If you have a question about how to apply this to a goal that you have in your own life, I would really encourage you to contact me for a clarity strategy session so that we can talk about how you can chunk down your own big goal that you have into a manageable way so you can build momentum, feel good about what you're accomplishing, and reach your goal in the time frame that you want. So again, this is Nicola Taggart, and until next time, live what matters.